You've probably heard of the three R's of green living, recycle, reduce, reuse, but I'm developing 10 R's for green living. Research, remove, reduce, replace, and now I'm on R number five, repair. So after going through every drawer in the house and every nook and cranny, I made a big repair pile. And as you can see, the items that need the most repairs are my clothes, like this beautiful skirt that got eaten by mice. I've got jeans that have holes in them. That's my favorite pair of jeans. I've got another one, these adorable bell bottoms that they just need to have buttons replaced. So hopefully that'll be an easy repair. And I have a few clothing items that just really aren't fit for a donation that I'll probably use for upcycling and just a couple of other things that just need to be stitched and repaired. I try to repair clothing items like these shoes. I love these shoes. I know they look like they are beyond repair, but they can be fixed. And I'm committed to fixing these items instead of just going out and buying new ones, especially these Chacos, because Chacos are my favorite pair of shoes. So I've got this uh, shoe goo, I believe it's called, and to help me repair the shoes, and I got my sewing kit to start working on the clothes. I've also got some small items that shouldn't be hard to fix, like this soap dispenser. It fell off the counter and broke right there at the base. I just need to glue that back into place, and my beloved heat pad needs to be sewn up. And I've got some other items here. This is my cabinet of items that need to be repaired or gotten rid of. So I'm gonna go through and see what all I have that needs to be fixed. Now that I've made my pile of items to repair, I need to find some tutorials to help me learn how to repair them. So I found this great website all about how to fix clothes. So it's the ultimate guide to fixing clothes. And it covers everything from sewing on a button to patching jeans to fixing a hole in a shirt. And it also covers basic hand sewing and a lot of more advanced uh, techniques for fixing up clothing. So I'm going to be checking this out and upcycling, which is something that I really want to get more into. For electronics, I'm not very savvy with them. Um, but this great website called iFixit covers a lot of different ways to fix some electronics, some basic repairs. Now, I think it's worth saying that if you're in over your head or you're dealing with something that could be potentially dangerous or hazardous, leave it up to the experts. There are plenty of repair shops. Um, and it's unfortunate that sometimes it's just, it's cheaper to just buy a brand new product than to fix it. That's just kind of the reality, but if it can be fixed, try to fix it first. I also found this website about restoring old furniture. I buy a lot of used furniture, um, so I want to know how to make it look a little bit nicer, how to clean it up, how to repair it. And I thought that this was a good website from How Stuff Works about how to do that. And then there's appliances. There's another section on iFixit that gets into how to fix various appliances. I've got a vacuum cleaner that needs fixed and also a washing machine. So we'll tinker with those and see what we can do. Finally, there's vehicles. I am not good at vehicles. Um, I bring it to a shop. I have a trusted um, mechanic that I go to. I try to keep my car in working order because I want it to last me as long as I possibly can. And this last website, Fix It Basics, also covers just about anything you can think of that you want to repair. So if you've got something broken that needs to be fixed, there are lots of tutorials online to show you exactly how to do that. My goal is to repair one item per day until my entire repair pile is gone. So I'm gonna have to look up some sewing tutorials and other things to figure out how to do it. Wish me luck.